Inside this cave, a team led by Michael Walker excavated a deep shaft in which they found more than 300 bones from around 10 Neanderthals, buried by rockfalls from the unstable ceiling. Three of the Neanderthals stood out. Walker thinks they weren't necessarily the victims of a rockfall. If there are rocks falling on you from a natural rock fall, it would be very strange to find nobody trying to escape and one of them with the hands close to the head in an almost sleeping position. Although the bones of this young female are fused to the limestone rock and are hard to see, Michael Walker thinks her body may have been carefully arranged in a fetal position. If he's right, this was no rockfall. Around 50,000 years ago, someone had intentionally buried her, piling stones to protect her body. And this cave had yet more to reveal. Near to the girl's body, Walker's team uncovered the fossilized bones of a pair of panther paws. This articulated paw of a panther was found close by and since the panther hadn't eaten and disturbed the bones here, it's more likely that the Neanderthals disturbed the panther and cut its paw off. I just wonder whether, in the way that today hunters in America cut off bear paws, I'm wondering if the Neanderthals occasionally didn't cut off a panther paw and keep it as a trophy. <laughs> 